What happens if you're on a plane and someone jams GPS signals? On purpose. That's what happened to EU Chief Ursula von der Leyen as she was about to land in Bulgaria. So when a plane flies, it listens for GPS signals from space to figure out where it is. Bulgarian officials said these signals were jammed, sparking accusations of a Russian interference. Jamming would mean someone used a device to drown out GPS signals with noise, so airplanes and anything else relying on GPS lose their way. Think of it like blasting static over your favorite radio station. The real music is there, but you can only hear the static. Surprisingly, jammers are cheap and easy to buy online, but the range is small. Most personal jammers only mess with GPS within a few hundred meters. Big military jammers, like the ones used near Russia's borders, can reach much farther, up to several kilometers, sometimes dozens, if conditions are right. But in any case, jammers need to be pretty close to the planes they're targeting, not hidden across the ocean. So, a plane flying over Bulgaria wouldn't be jammed by a device in Moscow. The jammer needs to be on the ground fairly nearby. So, what can pilots do? They switch to backup navigation, ground-based radio beacons, radar, old-school paper charts, and manual plotting. That's how von der Leyen ended up landing safely. Sometimes, pilots go retro using classic dead reckoning, guessing position based on speed and direction. They train for these situations and act quickly to keep everyone safe. Jamming can make planes lose track of their position, miss obstacles, or get wrong info from air traffic control. If GPS and backup systems fail together, things get risky, especially in crowded skies or poor weather. However, aviation has layers of protection and procedures to minimize the dangers. So, next time you fly, remember, pilots are ready for surprises. GPS jamming is a hassle, but pilots have old-school skills and backup tech to keep everyone safe.